Alright, this is a video of some of the clocks that I have in my house. Uh, first one here is an old General Electric Telecron clock. Uh, it has a synchronous motor in it, and it uses the alternating current line frequency to keep time. As you can see, it's got a smooth, sweeping second hand. It's probably from the 1960s. It's in very good shape. Very quiet as well. And as you can see, there's a cord. So you set it by pulling this knob down and turning it whichever way. So yeah, this is the first one. Here's another clock in my room. This one is a Cheney Instruments quartz clock. Of course, it's battery powered. And it has the Tecumseh engine logo on it. Keeps pretty accurate time. If anything, it's ever so slightly fast, maybe gains about a minute at the most. Um, and then over here, we have this piece of junk. It's supposed to look antique, but it's not. Um, and I call it a piece of junk because it never keeps time. It always runs slow, even with a brand new battery. So, yeah, I don't even know why, why I bother with that thing. But that one's pretty accurate. Here's another quartz clock. This is uh, something that I built in wood shop when I was in high school. And uh, yeah, it just takes you know, a typical quartz clock, just takes one day AA battery. And it's pretty, pretty accurate. Here's an another little quartz clock of mine. This is a Eurocron. Uh, I believe this was made in Germany. And it's got a little incandescent light on the top. And it has an alarm. So of course, there's your settings. It takes one AA battery. So yeah, it's a neat little clock. Very accurate. This here is a General Electric Instant Weather Alert digital clock radio. Of course, it has AM, FM, and weather band. Press this button down to turn on the weather radio in this light will flash red when there is a severe weather warning put out. And you can turn the alert tone on and off. Yeah, this has battery backup as well. It just takes a 9 volt battery like most of these old clock radios did. So there's that one. Over here, I have an Emerson digital clock radio. This one also has a 9 volt battery backup. Yeah, this one is older than I am, but it still works perfectly, so I I keep on using it. I like the nice big display. It's easy to read across the room. Here's another quartz clock that I have in my room. This is uh, obviously just a novelty item, because there's no numbers on it. But yeah, I like the ticking sound that it makes, so that's why I have it there. And... It seems, even it's, well obviously it's kind of hard to tell, but it seems like it keeps pretty accurate time. This is the clock that I keep by my bedside. It is a an RCA digital clock radio, and it has an auxiliary input on it, so you can play audio from like a phone or something. And um, that little sun symbol right there to show that it's... Uh, in daylight saving time mode, so this has battery backup as well. It takes, I think, two or three AA batteries. All right, here's another clock that I have. This is another one of those synchronous Telecron clocks, and I believe this one is from the 1940s. Um, of course, it is electric, as you can see. It's this uh, little circle right there turns red. When there's a power failure, so you know that you have to reset it. Um, but again, this is just another one of these with a synchronous motor and a gearbox to uh, lower the RPM. So, yeah. I have taken this one apart before, and I actually oiled the Telecron rotor. Um, I heated it up with a heat gun and then put some oil uh, around that, in that well that surrounds the main output gear 
and as the, the thing cooled down, it would suck the oil in. And this thing used to be really loud, but now it's absolutely silent. So the oiling helped a lot, and it keeps, you know, pretty much perfect time. And this one is set the same way as the GE one upstairs. So that's that one. And in this room we have another one of these synchronous clocks. It's electrically powered. But this one is made by West Clocks. And um, has a slightly different motor in it than the Telecron and the GE Telecron ones do. Um, but it's a still a, just a synchronous motor that's geared down. And again, this is another one that keeps absolutely perfect time. I'm guessing this is from probably sometime in the 1960s, I would guess. Correct me if I'm wrong, but here's cord. And again, it's set the same way as the other synchronous Telecron clocks. Over here in the dining room, we have a grandfather clock. Um, as you can see, the weights are all at the bottom. It hasn't been wound in quite some time. Um, and unfortunately, the hour hand is a bit loose, uh, so we're going to have to replace that eventually. Um, it has moon phases, three different holes for winding all of the weights up. Here's the manufacturer. door on it and of course you can see inside behind the clock face here in the kitchen we have this uh, quartz clock I don't know what company this was made by but I know that the quartz movement was made in the United States so it's, uh, it keeps perfect time Looks pretty good up right up against the ceiling, I think. <laughs> 